Hello friends, good morning. Today I am on Odoo version 17 in my local copy where I would like to introduce you to some of the good module from OCA that is purchase order and sales order approval. The module name is you know tier validation. So base tier validation is the main module and then we have purchase tier and sales tier validation. So if you are not uh, using studio, but you are on, uh, you know, on cloud and you want to create a good amount of, you know, condition based on backend configuration, then definitely uh, we can use these modules by enabling developer mode. And then we can create our own tier validation, you know, purchase request approval. And then over here I have options like who can validate either by specific user either by any user in this specific or any field related to this record. So in studio we always get you know any user in specific group and uh, then you know I can't uh, you know give anything you know basically to user and then it will also create you know validation. So my condition is if total amount of PO is greater than 1000, I want an approval from manager. And here is the notification. So if I want to send notification on creation or notify reviewer for pending, on accepted, then on rejected, then on you know re-verification, restarted, and then with any comments. So this is my purchase where I am administrator and I want an approval from this particular user so how uh, we can do that so if i am creating any new purchase order where my product is worth 199 i can directly confirm the order however let's say if my order is above 1000 you can see a request validation button if i am trying to confirm it will stop me and it will ask me for validation and then it will create an error. This record need to be validated. And then when I log in this purchase manager, let me check the password for the same. So my purchase manager user what is the password? Let me reset it. Okay, user login is emanager at user.com. So if I want to open another window so I can you know, start two sessions together. And then the manager at user.com. I'm logging in and going into purchase. Then I will see a validation status like it is pending for validation. And then I can see validate or reject button. And with validate, I will get a comment to make because I have enabled that settings and then it is been validated so as soon as i you know come back to my regular user window in purchase section now i can see it is validated and then i can confirm the order now let's say if you want to put you know multiple condition in tier like this is from you know purchase manager and then if i want to make a validation for purchase user also where my order value is 700 then i have two condition one is for purchase manager another one is for purchase user where order value is beyond 700 so I would require, you know, two verification when I can 
create a purchase order so if i am creating a purchase order worth 10000 or it's 1 lakh rupees i will request a validation and then it will send a verification request over here so first request is going to purchase manager we will require to validate this order okay. now if i go to my regular window it will still say pending so now what i need to do is i need to switch to my purchase user and then he is also required to validate this so there are two validations i need to do in order to approve entire request and then i can see it is validated and now i can confirm the order so this is how this purchase group can work and as an admin you know in normal studio mode I can do anything but over here I have to have that user in mind and then I can set a sequence for that and approval by sequence can also be created the same way I have also installed sales order verification sales order approval and then I can get a sales order request uh, reference and I say sales user where I need to create a new rule and that rule can be anything either if he's your know, salesperson only administrator salesperson i need approval okay so if as an admin i am creating any sales order so let me you know get sales app activated so once it is activated now I can create a sales quotation and then I will start having a validation because I as an admin is a salesperson over here. So in case I am trying to sell any damn product but I am the salesperson so it will ask for validation but when purchase manager is the salesperson it will not require any validation so based on certain condition you can also create you know sales order approval process and the same way it will also go for the approval cycle so in tier definition you can configure you know to send the notification and if your email is working well the other person will get a notification on their chatter box via this so this is how you can configure these modules very easily based on this base tier validation module and purchase request or purchase tier and purchase request also because there is a purchase request uh, uh, requisition module from OCA is there before even RFQ it creates a purchase request. So that's how you can install this module and create your own uh, approval formula or approval you know rules based on this all the condition which is available on the form either salesperson either amount either untax amount either you know by product or anything so that can be done uh, from this module so these modules are very thoughtfully developed and now available with version 17 also hope this helps many people to configure their own rule set of rule or hierarchy for approvals uh, using these modules without studio thank you